afternoon, good evening, wherever you are today. This is James Bowman III again with our marital and family encouragement. Hashtag M-A-F-E. So this evening, first of all, our, 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 let me tell you which uh, talk we're going to be doing tonight. This is a season one, episode 14, and uh, we're going to entitle it Insanity. And again, you know, these are just things that uh, sharing with you and that uh, maybe you share some things with me and maybe in the sharing uh, we both grow. So insanity. I just want to share a personal testimony and hopefully this personal testimony can can benefit you. So uh, when I was uh, in undergrad, uh, initially, I was not a stellar student. Uh, <laughs> I call myself I was majoring in basketball, right? Because I was always in the gym. I believe my GPA was around a 1.88. I can't exactly remember. I think I may be giving myself the benefit of the doubt. And back then, of course, we were on quarter systems. We were not on uh, semesters. And so after a couple of years, I I uh, flunked out, uh, which was the natural consequence of my uh, inept uh, behavior, which resulted in pathetic grades. So, you know, some years started to go by, I got married. Uh, we had some children. And at some point I realized, you know, this minimum wage isn't sufficient. And, and let me, let me pause here and say, it doesn't have to be college. Uh, there, there are great, uh, careers in plumbing, welding, uh, electrician. These are great tech jobs. I just knew that minimum wage was not sufficient. So, um, you know, <laughs> that just wasn't going to work. And so, so I, I decided, I said, you know, I have to, I'm going to have to go back to school since, you know, that's what I started. Uh, let, let's, uh, let's finish that. And, and because, because the challenge was ladies and gentlemen, I was paying thousands of dollars to attend college. I had traveled from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Huntsville, Alabama to go to college. And the challenge was my behavior was not matching my destiny, right? And so, you know, there's this saying that insanity is, is the doing the same thing over and over, uh, but expecting a different result. And so I began to understand I had to change what I was doing. So make a long story short, I, I started to take one class, you know, because I had been out of, uh, school for a while, for some years at that time. And so I said, I, I, I'm going to take one class just to get my confidence up. And, and another thing I had to do, ladies and gentlemen, I had to change my behavior. And so what did I do? Uh, well, first my, my firstborn, uh, was living then. And so I would take, uh, take my child to the library because it was, it was deeper now. You know, when I initially started, it was just me, but now there was more at stake. I had a family. And when I was younger, see, this is why the Bible says, uh, when I was young, I spake as a child, uh, but when I, when I became a man, I put away childish things. And, and I would like to maybe add on to that to say, you also didn't just speak as a child, you thought as a child, right? And, and so um, I began to grow up into a, a man saying, hey, I can't act like I did because when I was younger, I did not see the coming repercussions. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I began to get relentless about my schoolwork. And eventually, that 1.88, uh, as I said, I think I'm giving myself the benefit of the doubt, but it eventually evolved into around a 3.2 in undergrad. I got straight A's coming out in and, and, uh, an undergrad course. I got one B in tennis. I'm, I'm still regretting that, right? And then I went on to get my master's and got straight A's from there. So went from an F student to an A student. Now, the, the question is, why the difference? What what was different? Because I began to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that doing the same thing would yield the same result. And what were some of the tangible differences I made? Well, there was more study and less television. There was more study and less 
less basketball. There was more steady and less hanging out with friends. And right now, ladies and gentlemen, I am so honored to actually teach at the same school that I flunked out of. And what I tell these young people, I share with them what not to do. I share with them I've been an F student and I've been a straight A student. And the differences in mindsets are stark. And I can, listen, I count it a privilege. As, as we get older, I, I count it a privilege to if some young person can learn something from the mistakes I have made, to God be the glory. To God be the glory, ladies and gentlemen. And so I'm going to challenge you. If you are attempting to accomplish something that you want to do differently, then you have to say to yourself, what, what am I going to do differently? I've got to change my behavior and then identify those things that are restricting you from achieving your destiny. You've got to identify some habits that have to go and then surround yourself with people who don't have the very habit that you're attempting to negate. Because that also is foolishness. If, if, if I was, uh, if I had a challenge with drinking and I'm trying to get over drinking, I cannot hang around people who drink because that's a problem for me, right? Right. So I have to hang around people that maybe don't until at some point I achieve the discipline. Right. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm challenging you. Identify those things that are restricting you from achieving your destiny. Attack those things. And for, for, for God's sake, change your behavior. And I'm a witness that it works. Read God's word. It is the source of wisdom. It's another thing that benefited me. Right? So listen, that's our talk for today. Insanity, ladies and gentlemen. Be bold. Attack your destiny. Change your behavior. Get a different result. All right. God bless you. I will talk to you next time. Have a good evening. See you later. Bye-bye. Let me show you. Let me show you.